Robinhood, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and the national banks. Which one has the best debit card out on the market right now? And with more and more payments being electronic, can one of these online debit cards actually replace your debit card from one of the national banks, such as Chase? Well, stay tuned because we're gonna answer that and a lot more. We're going to rate these debit cards in categories such as ATMs, interest rates, fees, rewards and coupons, trustworthiness, and finally, other features. The rating's out of five stars, with five stars being the highest in that category. And at the end of the video, we're gonna pick out which one is the best winner out of these debit cards for you to have in your wallet. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the first category. The first category we're looking at at these debit cards is gonna be ATMs. First off, we're gonna talk about is Robinhood, and they have over 75,000 ATMs all across the US, and they use ATMs with US Allpoint and MoneyPass networks. And I gotta say, I'm gonna put up a little screen recording, they actually have quite a few ATMs that are free and they're really easy to find. I'm in the Chicagoland area and there's free uh, ATMs absolutely everywhere. For Cash App, there's a $2 fee for using the ATM, but you can get reimbursed by Cash App if you actually have a directly deposit of $300 or more each month. Venmo is just a little bit more pricey and comes in at $2.50 to make a withdrawal from an ATM. PayPal uses the MoneyPass network for the ATMs, so that means there's over 61,000 ATMs in the US that you could use for free. And if you happen to not use one of the ATMs in the network, PayPal is gonna charge you $1.95 to access your money from an ATM. And finally, we have Chase. And we're using Chase in this video because it's a national bank, and it's kind of what we're used to when it comes to debit cards, and it's a good standard when we're comparing the other four debit cards because they're mostly online. And Chase actually has 16,000 ATMs in the US, if you're not using one of those ATMs and it's out of the network, they're gonna charge you a $2.50 fee. So now we have our star rating for the five different debit cards with Robinhood being in the lead with five stars just because there's so many free ATMs to use and it's super convenient. On the flip side, we have Venmo with only two stars because there's no free ATMs in the network and you're always gonna be charged that $2.50 fee. So let's move on to the next category. The next category is gonna be interest rates and it's typically pretty uncommon to actually get any kind of interest paid on your account that's hooked up to a debit card. And this category is gonna be pretty fast because literally only one of these accounts actually pays you interest and that's gonna be the Robinhood. So Robinhood actually pays you a 0.3% annually uh, on your interest with your cash sitting in this account. And overall, the star rating is gonna be pretty simple because every other account is gonna be zero. And the main reason why I didn't give Robinhood five out of five stars in this category is because, yeah, it's great that they give you an interest rate, but it's kind of low compared to other competitors. For example, Ally Bank is currently paying me a 0.5% and also my Capital One account is paying me a 04 Next, we're gonna talk about fees. And if you guys know me, I absolutely hate paying fees, especially when you can avoid them. And that's one of the best things that I like about these online debit cards is that they were just born with zero fees. So no initiation fees, annual fees, or monthly fees. And actually that's how it should be. If you're paying any kind of monthly fee for your checking or savings account, you should really think about switching to a different bank. And out of all these debit cards, only one company charged a fee to have these debit cards and that's gonna be Chase. So with Chase, they actually do charge you a $12 a month uh, fee to have this, but it is pretty easy to avoid and not pay those fees as long as you have direct deposits set up with work you have $1,500 in your account or you have $5,000 in your other Chase accounts. But it is still really annoying that they charge a fee. It's almost 2021. Chase and the national banks really have to get with the other programs and the other banks. Who doesn't like free money or saving money when it comes to their purchases? And that leads us to our next category, which is gonna be rewards and coupons. We're starting to see more of a trend with these companies with online debit cards offer more benefits. And one of them is rewards and coupons. So they offer you these special types of rewards and coupons for just basically having an account with them that you otherwise could not find online or if you had a clipping of a coupon in the newspaper. All of our lists, unfortunately, Robinhood does not provide any coupons or any kind of rewards while using their debit card. Cash App does offer you rewards for using their debit card, but it is pretty limited. So right now they only have about 21 or so coupons or rewards, but some of them are actually pretty good and could be used for a wide variety of things such as if you use your debit card, you could actually get 10% off at a grocery store or 15% off at a restaurant or 15% off at Walmart. Venmo definitely has the best rewards when it comes to using the debit card. They have a huge selection of different stores you could use it at. And with the app, it's actually really easy to locate what stores are gonna give you a reward or not. And literally there's so many around me, there's a lot more local uh, rewards that you could earn with the debit card versus online rewards. But literally, if you're looking at the map right here, there's so many you could use, and this is by far the best rewards 
with these debit cards. PayPal does offer rewards and coupons, and initially it does seem like they have quite a bit of different uh, rewards and stores you can use it at. Currently, there's about 345 different stores you could use it at, but if you dive in a little bit deeper with the app, some of these coupons are actually pretty poor, such as you could only use them in certain categories at a store, or you might get free shipping with a certain price, which you would already get free shipping from that website, or basically just kind of advertising to use this at a certain store without getting any kind of coupon. So initially, it does seem like you get some pretty good rewards, but actually, they're not really that good using the PayPal debit card. Lastly, that leaves us with the Chase debit card, and surprisingly, there is a reward. Uh, I usually get one or two uh, that I can find using the Chase app, but they are usually really poor. They're usually with a company that I never shop at, and the coupon or reward that I get is really weak usually. So overall, the rewards and coupons of the Chase debit card are pretty dismal at best. Here's the overall rating for the coupons and rewards category. Tell me down below in the comments if this is a feature that you guys actually use, or is it something you kind of just forget about. It's critical that your money in these accounts are safe. If something's gonna happen to your money, there's no point of having these debit cards. So the next category we're gonna talk about is gonna be the trustworthiness and also the insurance provided by these different debit cards. First up, we're gonna talk about is gonna be the Chase debit card. And this is kinda like the gold standard out of the different debit cards we're reviewing just because Chase has been around for 100 plus years. They're very trustworthy. And also the debit card is FDIC insured up to a quarter of a million dollars. So that means if Chase were for some reason to go bankrupt, you still would be insured up to a quarter of a million dollars in this account. So let's move on to the next one. Likewise, the Robinhood debit card is also FDIC insured, and it's also up to five different banks they do the insurance from. So that means you have up to $1,250,000 that is FDIC insured with the Robinhood account. Then lastly, we have our Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal with debit cards. And unfortunately, all three of these are not FDIC insured. So that means if something were to happen to these companies and they just went bankrupt or for some reason disappeared, you would actually lose all of your money. So here's our star rating with Chase being on the top of the list with five stars just because they've been around here for so long, they're super credible, and it's also FDIC insured. Then on the flip side, you have Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal with zero just because none of them are FDIC insured. And if I'm actually using and putting this a uh, lot of money into these debit cards, I wanna make sure that my money is safe and nothing's gonna happen to them. The last and final category we're going to rank is gonna be other features. And some of these other features are really important or it could be the difference between you opening up an account with one of these debit cards. The first feature is gonna be investing. So unfortunately with PayPal and also with Venmo, you cannot invest in stocks on using their platform or with their debit cards. And there is one thing to note while using the Cash app, uh, you can invest in stocks, but for the most part, they're only blue chip stocks. So if you want to invest in those riskier, smaller companies, you won't be able to do so. The next feature is being able to send money through these apps or debit cards, and you can send money through all of them besides Robinhood. One feature that I like to have with my debit cards is being able to deposit cash or checks. And unfortunately, you can only do that with Chase and PayPal. One feature that we're seeing become more and more popular over time is being able to trade or buy cryptocurrencies. And you can do that on all these debit cards besides Chase and Venmo. The last feature we're gonna talk about is gonna be customer support. And it's one of those things you don't realize how important it is until you have a problem and you need someone to solve it. So at first we have Chase, which is basically the gold standard just cause they've been around for so long. They have absolutely great customer support compared to these debit cards. And overall, very high recommendations from them. Next up, we have Robinhood, and if you ever try to get a hold of them, it's a huge pain in the butt just because you can only email them or use social media. Then we have PayPal and Venmo, which is actually kind of easy to get a hold of. You could call them or email them for any problems. And then last, we have Cash App, which is, again, kind of like Robinhood, which is a big pain in the butt to have them solve your issue or just contact them with only email or actually snail mail, and who actually sends physical mail these days. So for our last category features, here's the overall scores for each of the five debit cards. So finally, here's the overall score if you were to combine all the different categories for these five debit cards. Tell me down below in the comments if you agree with my ratings, maybe one of the cards you thought I should've done better or worse. I would love to hear from you guys down below in the comments. With Robinhood being the clear winner out of these debit cards, does that mean you could get away with only having a Robinhood account for your debit card? And the answer is no. I actually don't think I could get away with only having a Robinhood account. I think you're gonna have to still pair it with one of those national banks. And that's mostly because I still use my debit cards to actually uh, deposit cash and checks. And that's one of the big things I use my debit cards for. 
So unfortunately, I don't think you could get away nowadays with just having an online debit card. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also, I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments. What kind of videos are you looking for in the future? I might make a best checking account video with Robin Hood, Chime, Acorns, and Sophie. So tell me down below if you guys want to see that video. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is Kevin, your financial tutor, signing off. Peace.